Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tankfro and today we are out here with episode 2 of my survival world, Exile Craft. Now, if you're new, then welcome. Uh, this is just a survival world that I started. And as you can see, I've got a small wheat farm going, as well as uh, pumpkins and melons. Um, I don't know why I started uh, with the beetroot, because it's a pretty useless food, if we're being honest, but um, I've got that nevertheless. Um, also, all of this used to be jungle, so if you're wondering what, like, three, I think, uh, iron axes can chop down for you, then it's pretty much this much, which isn't a lot. Now, as you can see in my inventory, I have quite a lot of phantom membrane, and the truth is, I haven't been able to find a single sheep. So, my goal for this episode is basically to go out there, explore, see if I can find some sheep, and if I manage to do that successfully, one other thing I want to do is to basically find one of each of every type of tree sapling, because out here in the jungle I only have um, the jungle trees and the oak trees, right? Um, this is all the, <laughs> all the logs I managed to get from chopping down just that small area. Um, so yeah, I guess that's my plan. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I've just survived the night out here and I think we're pretty much ready to go. Um, also, if you're wondering, I'm using a resource pack called Alternative Default, so that's what makes a, a creeper sandy and um, a creeper like really luscious and the mobs are disappearing. Um, but I'm also using uh, some data packs that uh, Exuma made, so you can go to his uh, website, I believe it's called uh, Vanilla Tweaks and VanillaTweaks.com. But um, for example, I can get some, some rotten flesh and um, I can turn it into leather. It actually makes the game a lot, um, a lot better if we're, if we're being honest. Um, also, Always combine to low durability uh, items because they actually give you more dur durability than they would otherwise. Okay, so I actually want to go in this direction first because I actually started exploring a little bit. I didn't get very far. Ooh, a bird. Um, but I know that there's another sunken treasure or another sunken uh, ship. This jungle is absolutely huge. It just keeps on going. And there it is. Right here. Paper and a very treasure map. Okay, iron and map is not bad. Let's see if I survive the way up. And just me. Yeah, okay, cool. So here we have some birch trees, which in the texture pack look more like sakuras, which is something that I actually personally really like. So I'm just gonna grab some of this. Hopefully, get some saplings out of it. Wait. Hmm. Okay, um, you know what? Slight detour. I didn't know there was actually a, um, what are these called? Jungle temples? I know that the official name is, uh, Jungle Pyramid, which is kind of weird. Um, let's see. Oh, god. I actually know this. Did it work? Nice. Not bad. Another few pieces of iron. I need some sheep. That's literally all <laughs> I want right now, because I have no idea how many nights I've spent just battling phantoms. Oh, and talk of the devil. Literally right there. Huh, this has been a pretty lucky expedition so far. Three? Okay, cool. Oh, it's been damaged. Nice. Um, I don't actually need their mutton. Okay, so I've been raiding quite a few ships, and as you can see, I actually have quite a lot of um, stuff, uh, which is really cool. Also, some leather, some thorns, cause uh, armor, cause I'm running out. Um, but yeah, you can see that those drowns are pesky. Um, but yeah, still no luck finding a new biome. Um, is that a, another ship? <laughs> yeah, these ships just keep on coming, like. Um, and the loot that some of them have are really good. Like, obviously, I've gotten quite a few rotten um, potatoes now, but, um, yeah. Let's see, 
Oh, hey, talking about uh, trees, there's one spruce. It's my uh, favorite, actually. Fun fact. There, it's my favorite uh, wood to build with. Let's try to just get some more saplings from this spruce tree, and then I think... I guess I'll just keep on going. I want to at least get um, acacia wood, because I quite... I mean, <laughs> it's orange, I know, but I do like how it looks, the outside. Uh, maybe not so much the inside. And there goes my, uh, my axe. Whoa, I've never seen such a huge um, ocean temple. Um, wait, so I haven't really gotten good loot from this. Oh, oh God. Okay, so that's what I mean by it is most definitely not worth it to enter those things. Like, there was some coal and weed in there. I almost died for that. Ooh, these tropical waters. Ooh, savanna perfect. <laughs> this is exactly what I needed. Um, yeah, maybe I can find tropical fish there. That would be pretty cool. Um, okay, so yeah. Ooh, you know I have to. Oh yeah. You're pretty big. Can you give me a small one? Here. Give me your sapling. Okay. There we go. Problem solved. I am really running out of space. Um, inventory management. That's probably the biggest issue in uh, in Minecraft. At least early game. Like before, you've got your uh, <laughs> your shulker boxes all sorted out. Um. I do want to try to see if I can find a village, because I haven't been able to at all, and... Oh. <laughs> I was about to say, deserts are perfect for it, because they're just big and open, but I guess savannas are too. Um, okay, well. Maybe I can get a decent uh, colored bed here. Let me see. So, as you can see, we are back at base. Um, as you can see, I've actually started planting, um most of our saplings and they already sort of duplicating um i've already chopped down quite a bit of it and uh, put it in the chest um i've put down our bed also so we're off to a pretty good start now i'm just melting some stone because i actually want to start having a bit of a starter base and i'm looking at that island over there and i'm thinking i could just extend it all the way to over there and maybe finish it off over there Maybe in a, even a little bit of a bridge over here. Um, so yeah, that's just so that we can start um, having our uh, our starter base open. Um, yeah, and as you can see, I've got quite a bit of spruce. Again, I said that I do love spruce. Um, ironically, my favorite or my least favorite wood is jungle, which is what I'm surrounded by, but uh, that's fine. Um, as you can see, we also have quite a bit of iron now and lapis and emeralds just from that trip alone. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm gonna try to do that and um, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I've pretty much uh, covered this whole little part with um, either grass and nice beaches at the end. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, and it gives us enough working space so that we can actually start doing what I want to do. So I don't know, um, I'm thinking maybe here we start. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, that seems like a pretty good place to start. So, what I have in mind is kind of like a, like a old, old style um, stone brick, like house type of thing. Um, I'll just start doing this. Okay, so I've gone ahead and, um, and gotten more wood, and I've turned this uh, the spruce into spruce planks because I think this will create. A really nice contrast. The the spruce with the uh, stone bricks has always been one of my um, <laughs> one of my favorite duos, if we're being honest, uh, because they just look so charming together. Um, but yeah, I feel like the outline is uh, starting to come together. Um, also, I built the staircase, which I think is what I'm gonna use as um, 
the, the way to the second floor, and I think I might actually want to cover this. Which I know is making that probably more dangerous, but you know what, that's fine. Okay. I'll keep this opening. Maybe I can uh, put an animal pen here once I've actually <laughs> have animals. <laughs> um, but yeah, for now, let's continue with this. I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of create like a, a birch over here. But I'm gonna use the um, the stripped version or the stripped variation of this. But first, let me get this together. Now, I don't have glass, so I think I'm just gonna do this. Will that work? I feel like it's fine. Um, could be worse. I mean, I still get a, get a view outside. And um, I don't think you can actually... Yeah, can you shut jump? No, you can't. Okay, perfect. Okay, so the roof is now fully complete. It's also complete on the back side. And I almost died there. Um, but yeah, now I guess what we gotta do is to actually fill in this and uh, this in. Um, now, I actually always hate doing this part because for some reason I can never, I don't know, get it right. But I guess I'll just try to fill it in. Um, always fill it in one one block set back just to give it more of a depth um, but yeah I want to have kind of like a window going on over here and again I don't have glass so we'll see how that goes but yeah it should be fairly simple um, is this the center? yeah this is the center okay um, so if I do that Um, yeah, that's pretty cute. I actually quite like that. Perfect. I love it. Um, yeah, I guess what I have to do now is fill this stuff in. And that's a pretty good interior. Again, this has been done without windows, and um, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, one great thing I really love is how I uh, basically kept all of that open. Um, yeah. You can see that light actually peeks through. Um, you can also see this like a almost four layer, right? So it starts off here. This is your second layer, third layer, and then the fourth layer, which includes the roof. Um, so yeah, it really has a lot of depth, this build. I'm thinking of putting a lot of chests over here. Um, maybe some furnaces over here and see, uh, see how that goes. So thinking about decorating a little bit. Um, and yeah, so... I'm quite happy with how it's looking right now. My pants are almost gone. So, yeah, I guess it's pretty much done. All that's left is the, like I said, the the actual decorations and interior. <laughs> okay, so I've gone ahead and decorated it a bit. Um, I might have gone a little bit overboard, but um, yeah, as you can see, got a nice dock over here. It's a nice little, like, I want to call it, like, vegetable garden type of thing going on. Um, obviously it's just for decoration, but yeah, I've got bamboo, I've got sugarcane. Um, as you can see, all my chests and furnaces are gone from over there. Um, and that is because I've actually moved them over here. I've got some of that stuff and organized all my stuff. So, wood and all my tools and whatnot. Um, yeah, up top, uh, I've managed to put in some book bookshelves. Uh, we should be ready for when we actually get a enchantment table, that'd be great. Uh, moved the lapis up here, as well as got a parrot friend. Hey, how you doing? Ooh, aren't you a cute one? Yeah, so um, if you got any names, make sure to put them down in the comments. Um, yeah, I've also got this grandfather clock, which, um, yeah, I have to say, Scar really inspired me when I saw his episode, and, but yeah, I thought... It was too big, so I made my own variation on it, but yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, but yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna leave it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you like content like this, make sure to subscribe. 
I also make a lot of content of the Hermitcraft uh, server and all the great guys over there. So yeah, as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.